welcome back guys so in this video i'll be showing you how to stream games locally from your pc to steam deck using moonlight application your pc needs to have a geforce based gpu in order to get moonlight working if your pc has a radeon based gpu try using sunshine on steam deck you can also stream games using steam link from my own personal experience moonlight gives better performance more responsive controls you can download moonlight for free from discover store there it is just search for it tap on install just make sure your pc and steam deck are connected to the same network i have connected my pc to my router using an ethernet cable and my steam deck is connected to my network using a 5 gigahertz band wi-fi channel installation complete so i'll be showing you how to add moonlight to your steam library as a non steam game just click on the steam icon here search for moonlight there it is right click now click on add to steam scroll down look for moonlight there it is check it add selected programs this is steam os running in desktop mode open steam library search for moonlight it should show up there it is i'll be using boiler application in order to add the artwork automatically you need to set it up first before it can download artwork for you automatically i have already shown you the setup procedure in another video i'll drop its link in the description boiler can be downloaded from discover store for free this is my boiler app and just click on this icon here searching for images downloading for images done importing games on your pc just open geforce experience in the home section the app will show all of the games that are installed on your pc and just go to settings then click on shield and here make sure game stream option is enabled in case moonlight is not able to find a game for streaming that is already installed on your pc just click on add here and manually add the games launch exe file that's it this is steam running in gaming mode there's moonlight application in the background my pc is running moonlight will search for pcs on my local network there you go found my desktop before starting it i'll show you the settings of moonlight i have set the resolution to 720p if i use the native resolution there will be some black bars fps set to 60 I have set the video bitrate to 30 megabits per second. I have a 100 megabits per second broadband connection. This bitrate should be enough for HD 60 FPS stream. I have enabled both VSync and frame pacing setting. Display mode set to full screen. Recommended. Most of the settings are left as this default. GUI display mode set to full screen. By default, it is. set to windowed so make sure you change it to full screen black bars will be removed from top and bottom and just scroll down and show you the performance tab i have enable alert tearing setting and set frame rate limit to off this disable steam os facing helps in reducing latency only level set to 2 that's it let's go back tap on a desktop a pin will be generated In my case, it is one eight two four. Just note down this pin. We will be entering it in the GeForce Experience app on our PC. On your PC, you'll see this prompt. Shield is requesting to connect. Just enter the pin here. Go back to Steam Deck. Should be able to access our PC now. There you go. This is my library. First, I'll be running Cyberpunk Steam version. To exit from the session, just need to press Select Start. L1 and R1 keys together. Game started. This is my desktop. I'm just click on play. Steam Deck controls work by default. Choose the game settings using ray tracing medium preset. DLSS set to auto. Scroll down. 
my PC has Ryzen 3700X processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Ray tracing effects enabled. Video settings 720p resolution. Missing disable. Start the game. Alright, game has started. Check out the input response. And keep the gameplay short. Ray tracing effects look gorgeous. No perceivable input delay. It's almost as if the game is running natively on Steam Deck, but that's not possible. You can see power draw, 7 watts. Jump by pressing the A key to demonstrate this. Zoom in by pressing the left trigger. Yeah, Moonlight is amazing. You can use it even on your Android phone. I have used it even on my PlayStation Vita. This is amazing. Now I also have Epic Games version of Tang Life Part 2 installed on my PC. Did not see it in Moonlight's interface. I'll show you how to add again manually. So in order to close this session, I'll press select start L1 and R1 keys together. That works. No dying light part 2 in the home interface. I'll go back to my PC. I have it shortcut on my desktop. I'll just add this shortcut to GeForce Experience. Here, go to Shield, click on Add. Just add the game's desktop launch shortcut. Here you go. Back to Steam Deck. There's dying light part 2. Let's start it. A desktop PC should show up. Game is starting. Game settings, high quality ray tracing, why not? Resolution here is set at full HD and just drop it down to HD. DLSS quality and just disable it. Alright, the game has started guys, check out the input response file, the game looks gorgeous. Jump by pressing the R1 key. Crouch by pressing the B key. Paco elements in this game. I can back the undead, looking for them. One of my favorite games. PC board is optimized nicely. So this was a short demonstration of Moonlight running on Steam Deck. I'll end the video here guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.